we talk about. Obviously, we've already won the league, uh, but I think we're really focused on 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 doing that. Stay, try to stay undefeated. Take one game at a time, like we've done the whole season. And now looking forward to Hips. I think we've had some tough games against them this season, so we know we know it's going to be a, a big challenge. Charles Patterson, please. Morning, Philip. Um, obviously, the, the club announced yesterday that everybody involved, or the players and staff, are going to take a break from social media for a week um, due to the issues around uh, racist abuse that players have been suffering. How important a message is this and how much discussion have you had as a group about why you need to do this? Yeah, I think it was a decision between from the club and, and, and also the players. You know, we all stand, we, we all stand behind it. And... Uh, Something we we want to do to to uh, to hopefully change the the situation as it is today. Uh, so hopefully hopefully we we'll, we can together with other clubs we could get some kind of change. Andrew McQueen, please. Morning, Phil. Um, we've obviously seen evidence of some of the the awful things that have been sent to to some of your teammates that they've posted on social media. That can't be nice for you know anyone at the, the club to see have you seen it affect those players at all i think it i think it's hard to, to see it uh really when you meet them i think they're they're strong characters and they don't maybe not showing it uh but it's awful you know to anyone that that gets those kind of abuse and 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 it can affect people like if you're if you're a more fragile person, it will probably affect even more. Uh, but so, so that's what that that's the change we want to to see see coming. Gavin McCarthy, please. Well, but have you seen the the squad really rallying around the guys who have been subjected to that abuse? And has that been very important? You know, you show you show that you've they've all got your support. Yeah, I think it's it's a, it's a of course, it's important that we all show show our support, uh, and and we're a team, and we always try to stick together, and 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 that's what we we, we certainly need to do at a time like this. Joe Henry, please. Well, the the league wrapped up. There's progress in the in the Scottish Cup. What's the motivation um, for you guys going into a game like Sunday against Hibs? Yeah, as I said, as I said uh, earlier playing against a team that we've had problems with this season even though uh even though we've we've we won two games one nil and and one draw uh and so so we know it's going to be a tough game and we, we want to we want to keep on doing what we've been doing all season i, think, I know it sounds maybe a bit uh, boring but one game at a time and uh that's that's all, all our focus now, and then then we'll take the next game after that. Ronnie Charters, please. Hi, Phil. You you mentioned that you want to see other clubs show their support. I think there's three clubs in, in the UK right now who, who are following or are doing the social media blackout. Are you are you hoping that other clubs may get involved in this to, to take us take a stand together? Yeah, of of course I do I do, and and then I'm not saying there is many ways to. To, to do something about it it doesn't necessarily have to be a boycott but but we something to to, uh, to change the climate on social media as it is today and uh, i think i think it's something that we all need to to think about and try to to do something about it gabriel from tlz please Hiya, Phil. Um, just going back to, to the game on Sunday, you're up against Hibs. You said they've been really tough opponents. What specifically do you think makes them tough to play against? And would you say they've been the hardest team to play overall in the league this season? That's They're third in the league, so they're a good team, first of all. Uh, uh, then, you know, we've we've had some tough games the way we're now... The last game we played, we played at their ground and it was a, a bit of a, a bad pitch 
when it, the game got a bit scrappy and 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 but but that's what we've also been good at this season i think to to handle different different types of games different situations uh but yeah t- hips are a good team and that's that's probably that's probably why it's been tough um jordan campbell to finish off please on the phone um, the defensive record's been such an important part of the team's success this season. Um, the captain, James Tavernier, has obviously signed a new deal earlier in the week. How big an influence has he been on yourself and how important is it that he's you now signed up for another three years? Yeah, well, it's fantastic news and he's the club's captain and, and so 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 we're, we're lucky to have him for a few more years and, and I think he's... As many other players, he's been he's been fantastic for us. Uh, scored a lot of goals, assists. Uh, so he's he's of course he's a big part of, of of the team. Also also outside of outside of the pitch. Thanks, guys. We we'll have Stephen along shortly. Cheers, Philippe. Good luck.